Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news we got in the week has been a video made by the guys at Weta Workshop who worked in collaboration with Tencent to create a sculpt version of Kitava for promotional purposes and the, the end result is absolutely amazing so I highly recommend checking this video out, it's just about 4 minutes long so it shouldn't be much of a problem to watch. Also. It's incredible and uh, it's pretty much your only chance to see how Kitava is made from the waist below so definitely recommend checking it out. Also we got some more stories from the development and this is a list of things where GGG kind of tells where or if they were actually thought and in the first original design of the game or if they were added later for example ambush which means strong boxes was actually created or thought into the first original design and then it came out in 2014 with the league called of course ambush and originally it was even intended for every single chest or t or similar thing to be able to be rerolled it would it would have been pretty fun like i mean how funny would it be if you had to reroll every single chest, every single rock before actually rolling it? That would be pretty interesting, but still, there's a lot of things here, so definitely check those out if you are interested in a bit of past and in a bit of um, kind of game design or how it was thought and how it changed. And we also got some competition highlights from the talent competition and there's some pretty damn good ones, there's videos, there's music, there's artwork, of course, my personal favorite so far is definitely this pixel art over here, it's absolutely amazing, but yeah, if you are actually a fan of fan art, definitely check the original thread out as well as this thread here, because they are definitely full of very interesting submissions, also there's still some time, or enough time at least, to actually submit something if you haven't yet, so definitely do that. Also, we got the patch 3.1.3, which besides fixing uh, the usual amount of bugs, actually implemented a new effect for burning ground that doesn't have performance issues like the previous one did, and that's absolutely amazing. It also is true, which is not uh, necessarily true for everything, GG does, but still you can see the effect over here and this is the new burning ground. I personally like it a lot, uh, it's, it definitely feels uh, way more in the game than the previous one, it feels, it's, it's just better I feel and well GG said it's not perfect yet but I definitely like it more. Also I tried it in the game and the performances are definitely much much better than they used to be, actually they are not hindered at all by the new burning ground, so I hope this ground remains, also it's really easy to see the borders of the burning ground, so definitely a pretty good uh, improvement here, and we'll have to see how that goes also for the shock ground and ice ground, which uh, GGG is actually thinking of changing as well, because every time uh, they can actually improve the game performance wise, that's actually a very very big improvement and this one is definitely a good one as well. We also got a new stash tab, yeah we got the fragment stash tab this time, as you can see from the picture there's a very small video but you can just watch the picture and it tells you everything, so pretty much you can stop, you can stack up to 5000 of the normal Aziri fragments, the uber Aziri fragments, divine vessels, bridge stones and a hundred of their smaller ones and when they got when they get to 100 they actually turn into a bridge stone there's also pale council set elder or actually shaper set in this case and the uber lab offering of the goddess i mean while this tab is pretty useful it's much more useful for players either who like to farm a lot of these things, like if you're going for the end game grinds you may want this tab, also if you are in standard yeah you probably definitely want this tab because definitely fragments are going to held up a lot of space in your stash tabs if you're playing something like standard where you just accumulate a lot and a lot and a lot and you gradually accumulate more than you actually can use. Personally though, I'm not really a fan of the recent trend of adding a tab for pretty much anything, 
because that tabs are kind of the only somewhat pay to win element into the game of course it depends where you draw the line for pay to win but let's be honest playing the game without any tab whatsoever is just a real pain and whoever gets to maps definitely uh, needs to buy at least one or a couple of tabs whether it be the currency tabs or the map tabs which are pretty much must have tabs at right now or just these new tabs and well you can do without this one definitely but it's a huge improvement into the game and in your tab management so definitely uh, a tab worth buying also uh, pretty annoying that GG is actually continually putting out a lot of different tabs we might even have I don't know like flask tab soon we have a lot of different flasks or a gem tab where you can just cannot buy new gems anymore and you can get them on the ground and they stack I don't know but still it feels like everything uh, that could have a better use or could have a better storage way into the stash tabs will get a tab eventually and yeah I guess that was all for this week so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel so that was all I've been your host Zorzo and I'll see you guys the next time.